Good afternoon, everybody. It's a tremendous pleasure for me to be here with you uh, this early evening in order to celebrate Onam, our Harvest Festival from Corella. I was delighted when John George, the president of the association, thought to invite me, and I was equally delighted to be able to accept this most auspicious invitation, and I thank you all very, very much for allowing me to share this time with you. I want to acknowledge the board of the Corella Association of Las Vegas, the Las Vegas Indian Chamber of Commerce. If there are any board members, I'd like to acknowledge you. I had the opportunity to have dinner with the Indian Chamber of Commerce last night, where I learned that the Indian National Anthem has been voted the best national anthem in the world. Yalava Khan, Ente, Tirovona, Ashem Circle. <laughs> For anybody who doesn't know what that means, it's an Onan greeting to all of you. I want to share a few thoughts with you. John gave a beautiful introduction, but I have fallen, what he did not tell you is that I have fallen in love with India. particularly hard to do. I am a member of the India Caucus in the United States House of Representatives, and I am a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, and India is one of the countries under my jurisdiction. I know the country well, and I cannot tell you how important it is for the United States of America to continue to foster strong relationships with a strong relationship with India because India is the future of the world. The United States is the oldest democracy on the planet, oldest continuous democracy, and India is the largest democracy. It is in a very strategic part of the world. It is a good balance to China and a very important balance to Pakistan. China and the United States have had a troubled relationship. Pakistan, for as much aid and help that the United States has given has not been a reliable friend. The one country in that area that stands with the United States, not only when it comes to national security issues, but trade issues, economic issues, there is only one, my friends, and that is the country of India. important to nurture 
and foster this relationship. It is not only good for India, because if it was good for India, as a United States Congressperson, I would be somewhat involved. A strong American-Indian relationship is good for the United States of America, and that is why I support the relationship between the two nations. Karela is a wonderful state. Crystal, who's sitting in the front row, who works for me, spent a year in India in the adjoining state. And she tells me that whenever she wanted to go to the beach, she went to Corella. <laughs> and she has told me that when I go back to India, which I fully intend to do next year, that I must, in fact, go to the most educated, the most innovative, with one 100% literacy. There is not a state in the United States that can make that claim. How remarkable is that? I am glad that we are all together to celebrate this Harvest Festival. But I am more glad that you are residents of Southern Nevada that I represent. A strong American-Indian relationship does not happen by accident. The people in this room and the Indian community throughout the state of Nevada and the United States of America are pivotal to ensuring that this relationship becomes stronger, our trade continues to grow, our strategic alliance continues to add security to both nations and that our economies continue to be late. I want to thank each and every one of you for your strong support, for becoming good Americans and yet never forgetting where you came from. I am second generation American. My mother's side of the family comes from Greece. My father's side of the family comes from the Russia-Poland border. When they came to the United States, they had nothing. They couldn't speak English. They had no skills. They certainly had no money. The only thing they had was a dream. And that dream was that their children and their children's children would have a better life here in the United States than they had where they came from. That American dream is in all of our hearts here today. We know it, we feel it, and we as Americans, that have come from other places have only added to the depth and the richness of the culture of the United States of America. I thank you for making that journey and making my congressional district, Southern Nevada, your home. Have a wonderful Harvest Festival. particularly thank the ladies that dressed me today. <laughs> I have a closet full of saris and I can't figure out how to put them on myself. So ladies, thank you. You did a beautiful job.